So in this episode we are quickly going to take a look at views and what that means is that we are going to explain layouts, uh, we are going to create a custom layout for our pages, for one of our pages. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about error pages and how you can create your own and also a bit about CEO but not how to do the CEO right because I'm not a CEO expert but I know that uh, part of CEO includes putting the right meta tags into the heads of your pages so I'm going to show you how to do that and of course if you want to know more about views there is a views documentation page on nuxtjs.org so please read that for more in-depth knowledge about this subject okay so actually we did do something with layouts before uh, if you go to the layouts folder you have this default dot view and we added the header component in our layout folder but what if for example uh, on our page we want for about page to have different layout or let's say actually for example contact page so contact page uh, needs to look a bit differently from the rest of our site for some reason right so you would need a new layout for that now what layout file do do or does or whatever uh, they just uh, add some sort of html in which your actual content is going to be displayed so for example on this page we have this div we have header so header is going to be displayed on every page and then in the next part uh, this is where content is going to be displayed of course we can add a footer here maybe a sidebar or whatever okay so let's say that we want to create a new layout file so i would just create a new layout file file here and call it contact layout that view of course and now in that contact layout you can just do something like and of course uh, for your content to be to be actually displayed here you need to add a next uh, component not like this but like this so all of your content is going to be displayed right here so let's just add a footer right here okay so now we have that layout the next thing we need to do is we need to tell the contact page that we actually want to use this layout when somebody clicks on contact so for now if we go right here click contact page so this is contact about they all look the same uh, only this text changes right here so our contact layout should have this header and it should have some sort of a footer right so to do this uh, you just go to your pages and then go to the contact page so index that view in the contact directory and you would uh, open up a script tag right here and so export default and then you just say layout and uh, what did we call it contact layout you don't need to write that view uh, the next will automatically know to search for layout in the layouts folder and uh, that it should have the extension of that view save this let's check out our page so as you can see this already changed if i go back so this is our about page but if i click, click on contact you can see that we have contact layout well, we have the uh, content for our content page which is just contact page and then this is content uh, contact layout footer so this is the way you would create your new layouts for the page so for the pages that would be different from the rest of your site so next thing i want to show you is how you can create your own error pages and to do that uh, to actually first see uh, what the error pages look now you just do something like this right so this page could not be found and you can check out uh, how this page currently looks now if you need something different and most probably you, you will if you are creating a serious static website uh, then uh, you will uh, want to change that page and for that page right you can go and check out the source for that page right here 
So if I click on it, so this is the default error page, which you actually can't access from your code right now. I mean, you can, but uh, it's pretty well hidden, right? So if you want to create a new error page, which is not this one, uh, you would also just go to layouts right here. And in the layouts, you would create error.view. So error.view component, and I'm just going to copy paste this in, right? So as you can see, this is, I think, an example from uh, from the documentation. Uh, it receives the props error, and you only have a container right here, and it's searching for the status code of 404. If it gets it, then it will show page not found. Uh, Otherwise, so if we get some sort of other error, uh, then it will just show an error occurred. And uh, there is a link to the home page. If I go to uh, our page, as you can see, first we get some sort of error from Nuxt. Uh, but if I refresh the page, this should work. So page not found and we have a link to the home page. Right, so error page is pretty easy. Just create error.view component, uh, fill it out, and you got your error page. Of course, you would style it, make it a little bit better, maybe make uh, some sort of funny 404 message and graphic, and so on. And that's about it. So now I just want to take a look at meta tags for your pages. If you go to nax.config.js file, you can see this head method, and in it we have a title, meta tags, links, and so on. Uh, these are the defaults that you get with Nuxt, and of course you can add your own. Uh, but let's say, for example, that you need something specific for your contact page. So what would you do? You would just go to the index of that contact page. So right now I'm in pages contact uh, index that view, and then you would just add a head method right here. Head, and then you would return something. So first of all, let's just return a title. Because if we take a look at our page right now and go to the contact, as you can see, the title is visible up here. And right now it just says next. Of course, this kind of sucks. So we want to change that. And to change that, you can just go right here, do return and then do title. Right title and the title is going to be contact page. Save this, check it out. And as you can see, now we get the different title right here and now it says contact page. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is uh, let's add a new description. So how do we do that? Well, you would just do, uh, not this, but okay, colon. Then you would define your meta tags. So meta and meta tags is an array of objects. So first object is going to be the description. So in our case, we do HID, which is the ID of uh, our meta tag. Description, uh, name of our meta tag is going to be description also. So this is the actual name of the meta tag. And then you have the content, right? So my description, and that's about it. Save this. Now, how do we take a look at that? Well, we can just take a look at the page source. And as you can see, we have a description. The name is also description and the content for that is my uh, impeccable Nox.js project. Why? Why is that description? Let me refresh this and this also. Oh yeah, I actually forgot to refresh this. So now it says content is just my description. Okay. so. Uh, I just want to show you something that it will probably be important to many people. And that is how you would, uh, how you would add, well, open graph tags to your uh, meta tags for Facebook and so on, right? So you would also start with HID, then you would do OG title, 
So this is just the ID of our meta tag, but then you define a property. So that's how uh, open graph tags are actually defined. So you define property, property and the property, for example, if you're using OG title, OG title, right? And the content would be contact page, right? Save this. Let's take a look at it in our browser. I will just refresh this. And uh, right here you see Meta. So it adds, come on, uh, it adds this data and head through data HID. And then it adds a property of OG title and the content is content page. So this is, this will be readable by Facebook well, when you share the page and so on. Okay, so this is it for this video. If you want to know more about views, please check out the documentation page for views uh, on nuxjs.org. Everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. And of course, uh, as always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.